Hey guys, me and my sister come to you from the beautiful city of Oslo, which is the capital city of Norway. And as I'm with my sister, who has a food Instagram page, make sure you f check that out if you haven't already, Food Diary by Saj. And one thing we really want to do is try out the local cuisine in Norway. Uh, what is Norway famous for? I actually don't know. Uh, it's, it's, it's famous for really random things. Um, there's stuff like the national dish, which is something called fairy cup, something to do with like lamb and cabbage and stuff. Sounds a bit odd. Um, there's also like some cheese that's quite famous around here, which is like supposed to be quite sweet, so it's not really savoury. So there's a few different things. So yeah, so we'll, we'll aim to try, we're here for about four or five days, so we're going to aim to try and eat all of that and try what else unique specialities they have around here. So we've come to Mafalin, Mafalin, Mafalin? Not entirely sure how you pronounce it, Oslo, which is supposed to be the most famous sort of food hall in the city. So yeah, come here to check out the food and hopefully grab up some nice dinner. So they didn't really have anything authentic in terms of Norwegian food in the food hall. So I, me and my sister just ended up getting a burger. Um, burger was decent. I was re reliably informed by the waiter that the drink I had, which was uh, called Solo, is the Norwegian version of Fanta, um, which was, in my opinion, actually better than Fanta, as it, so it has a little bit of a sweet kick to it. And so, yeah, definitely better than Fanta. The only qualm I had is, the burger and chips and drink I got, and with my sisters as well, would be the equivalent of about £25, £30 in the UK. But here I paid £53. And I guess that's one of the downsides to Norway. It's such a beautiful country, there's so much lights off countryside and wildlife, so much great food, but it's so expensive. I mean, it's okay if you live here because uh, the sort of minimum wage is really high and like, sort of the welfare system and state support here is really high, but when you're coming from a foreign country like myself, it's a real shock to the system. So yeah, I'm just gonna try and cut costs wherever possible. So we've come to Harold's Waffle, which is sort of just to the north of the center of the city. This is a really well-known sort of waffle place in Oslo, and it's something apparently you need to try out whenever you visit the city. So my sister's gonna try it and let us know how good it is. On our waffle, we also got Bruno's cheese, which is this brown thing here. Um, Apparently this is a special sort of Norwegian cheese which is known for being sweet. What do you think of it? It's nice. It's not as sweet as I thought it would be. I think you can choose a bit more sweet toppings on it, but I wanted to try the cheese. Yeah, they had like ice cream and sort of toppings and flavours, so definitely worth adding if you want a sweeter taste. What would you give it out of 10? Six. Fair enough. We came to Ugly Baby, which is a Norwegian donut shop and it's quite famous in Norway. And we got ourselves a chocolate non stop donut. What do you think of it? Very nice. Looks very big, um, bigger than your typical donuts you'd get in the UK. But yeah, I guess Ugly Baby is Norway's version of Donut Time if you've ever been there. Hmm. That's actually quite nice. It's chocolate's a bit sticky though. But still, give it a 7 out of 10. I just went to Oslo Street Food Market, which is about a 5-10 minute uh, walk away from Oslo Central Station. It's like an indoor street food market with lots of different cuisines. There's Indian food, Mexican food, Thai food, Chinese food, Greek food. So plenty to choose from. I myself got some tacos as well as a milkshake, which were both really nice and also reasonably Price considering I'm in the center of Oslo. The food was decent, nothing special, but if you are looking for cheap food while you're in the center of Oslo, then Oslo Street Food is the place to go. I've just come to the north of Oslo to a famous hot dog kiosk. Uh, I'm not going to try and pronounce it, the name will be sort of at the bottom of the screen. But yeah, there used to be loads of sort of hot dog kiosks around in Oslo. Uh, this particular one has been in this part of Oslo for about 50 years now, since the 1970s. Uh, sadly, this is the only one that stands. Uh, there used to be like well over 50, so yeah, it's a bit sad that there's only one kiosk left. And apparently this is like a really famous like Oslo landmark, well food landmark I guess. So definitely something you need to try out, uh, especially 
if you're really into hot dogs like I am. I know hot dog is quite a basic meal, but that generally was one of the best hot dogs I've had in my life. Um, they also do vegetarian hot dogs, uh, which my sister tried, and she said that the vegetarian hot dogs also really good as well. So definitely worth trying out if you're in Oslo. We've come to a cafe to try something called skull board or skull bread. Um, as you can see, it's sort of like a lo local Norwegian custard bun. Um, you can find it in most cafes slash bakeries all around Norway and yeah it looks very sweet and also a lot bigger than I imagined it to be so I'm gonna try it now and let you guys know how it tastes. Just back at my hotel room the Skullberg wasn't really my thing it had a way too much coconut in it for my liking I'm not really a fan of coconut and chocolate in chocolate slash sort of safe sweet products and yeah didn't really float my appetite but if you do love coconut then it's definitely worth trying it out. The custard in the middle is quite nice, but I don't know, just with the coconut, it didn't feel right to me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, and hopefully I've given you a taste of different Norwegian food slash places you can go to whilst you're in Oslo. Um, unfortunately, there is a lot of like Norwegian specialities, and we, we didn't even try some of them, such as furikal. Having looked up what it is, it just didn't seem that appealing, and considering how expensive everything is here in Norway I don't really want to I didn't really want to waste money on something I'm, I was I'm not, I'm never gonna like and never and never gonna try really so I didn't try that but be feel feel free to try that you know, yourselves whilst you're here but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, make sure you check out all my other videos within this whole sort of Norwegian travel series and also make sure you subscribe and like and do all that good stuff and as always hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you guys in the next one Thank you.